and this is Ultra Choice. I hope you enjoyed that performance of my remix of Taylor Swift's The Archer. So that remix was entirely done on the OPZ, uh, both the composition and the performance. And I wanted to walk through a little bit how I did it and how you can do something like that really easily too with an OPZ and an iPad. Now you don't have to have an iPad. I prefer using the iPad because it gives me instant access to YouTube and other resources where I can quickly pull audio. And I can also plug in the OPZ directly, USB-C to USB-C on my iPad Pro and use the OPZ as an audio interface. What's really cool about this setup is you can essentially have a direct line between the OPZ and the iPad, have AUM open, choose OPZ as both the input and the output device on a single audio track, and then you can also record whatever you do in AUM. For this track, I I opened up YouTube, I searched for Taylor Swift's The Archer, started playing back a bit that I liked, and made sure that I had a track ready to go in sample mode. 
Then I quickly held record during the part I liked and it auto chops different slices of that recording. You can then manually chop each slice to make sure that you're playing the parts that you want, which looks like this. And it's really that simple. I use each of those slices as the base for each section of the song. And then I'm essentially able to create different parts based on the different slices. Once I have those parts ready, I can start layering on them. So I can add drums and bass and synths and all kinds of stuff. Once the entire bass composition is created, so the whole song's kind of ready to go, I'll have a suite of like five to 10 patterns that I can run through. I'll start using things like the performance effects, which you have seen in some of my OPZ videos if you watched my other OPZ videos. I use the tape effect, and then I also use the master effects to create a fade out effect using a low pass filter or to increase the drive and the chorus of the entire track. The next step is that I took the audio out of AUM, uploaded it to Google Drive, downloaded it on my PC that I built, and then actually ran it through Ozone 8. This is a mastering software that has some pretty great auto features that you can tweak after the auto features are done. For my quick mixes like this, I usually just run it through auto, make sure everything sounds how I want, make sure that the volume levels are where they need to be, hit export, and I have a good basic mix. If I was gonna do some more intense album production, I would probably add additional tracks in Ableton and mix all those through Neutron and then go through Ozone. So yeah, once all that's together, I take the audio file, put it back in G Drive, download it on the iPad and edit, or edit straight in DaVinci Resolve on my PC. And that's kind of how I build out this track. Hopefully that's given you some insight into how you can do something similar. Obviously you need an OPZ and then some kind of audio source. But outside of that, this is all pretty replicable and it really shows how versatile a device the OPZ is now that you can sample with it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.